you don't mind, this is the doctor. It doesn't really matter who. Who am I even speaking to? Oh, yes, you. Okay, today we're going to do something a little different. Now, it's the good doctor here, and I'm going to show you a little bit more about that rock crusher we had in our last video. If you haven't seen that video, I'm posting a link here. Use the force, Jedi builds crusher. Now, I'm going to show you a little example of today's crusher. But first, we need the crusher. One rock crusher, please. Right. One rock crusher, as delivered and promised. Now, we designed and built this little baby ourselves. And I'm going to give you a full explanation of how it works inside and out. So let's get started. Jolly good, right. Let's get started. Old Betsy here, 17 inches high and 10 inches deep. It's got a one inch shaft running all the way through it. it delivered pounding force to those Betsy little rocks. Now, the motor, the drive mechanism over here, is two horsepower, single phase, 220, eight amps. Delivering all the power we need to spin the center shaft to crush even the hardest of quartz rock. Now, the discharge line is two and a half inch on the bottom, and it runs through a punch plate, which brings it down to 100 mesh. Let's take a look inside. Right, now, come here. Take a look. Very good. We have eight chains, all hardened, steel, of course, uh, all bolted and connected to the center shaft, which is the one inch hardened steel. On the inside, we have the punch plate, which screens it down to minus 50 to minus 100. Single pass, first time. Now, the only bad design about this is that the screens should be on the side wall and not on the bottom. They collect a lot of material and eventually the screen becomes damaged because of that. So if you're planning on building one, I'd highly recommend putting the screen on the side and not down at the bottom. Now, the inlet port here is in the very back instead of on the top. A lot of rut crushers decide to put their inlet port on the very top of the drum, which is extremely dangerous. It decides to kick rocks straight up and back into the person who's trying to crush the rocks in the first place. Not very good. Cheerio! Now, the drive mechanism is a three inch pulley connected to a five inch pulley with a 22 inch belt. The motor itself is the tensioning mechanism which sits on four to six bolts and has the ability to slide an inch and a half for tension on the belt. Uh, of course the belt guard will be manufactured at a later date. The feed tube is a three inch feed tube that comes in through the back and of course the spin which I know a lot of you would-be builders are asking is clockwise from the back, counterclockwise from the front, thus ensuring that the rocks are pulled into the drum and rotated and crushed in this fashion. If we were to go this direction, it had the tendency to kick it up this tube. For safety reasons, we put a kink in the tube, and of course there is a block guard at the very top preventing anything from escaping. And the top of the funnel uh, restricts the material coming in down to two and a half inch, so that the throat or the feed tube itself cannot be clogged up with any loose material. Very good, follow me. Now, the switchy mechanism is mounted on the side of this channel iron, which is encased in a waterproof housing box that has a safety shut off. That way, in case you decide to run wet and a little water decides to get inside of your little box, it will not fall to short out. Now, the entire apparatus itself is mounted on this large rectangle box that we made out of channel iron. Very strong and very secure. Now, the channel iron box is mounted on top of casters. Two in the front and straight in the back, rated at 800 pounds. Right, now, I know I've left a lot of material out, and that's okay, because I'll go over it in another video. But for the most part, this is how the rock crushers are designed and built. Some use hammers, some use chains. But for easier construction, I would simply go with a chain, hardened steel, of course. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Rock Crusher 101. And if you've enjoyed today's little episode, please rate, share, and subscribe. And as always, leave me a comment down below. If you really like it, you'll buy me a cup of coffee. So, until next time, this is Dr. Williams with AskJeffWilliams.com. Saying if you want to crush your rocks, you must build yourself a box. Take care.